channel. So this week, what I've decided to do is I'd like to do another travel guide, um, but like the old fashioned sort that we've been doing where we go out and we try a sausage roll, uh, we check out some kind of like local place you can go to that's not going to be expensive. Um, so I found a place called Stanwick Lakes. And um, there, it's about 750 acres with obviously lakes around it and you can walk around and there's supposed to be a nice cafe there. TripAdvisor says it's good. Um, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna hopefully use the Tom Tom Rider and put it on like a twisty route sort of run and see where it takes us for a little bit more fun. Um, but we're gonna jump on the bike, we're gonna go and check the place out and uh, you know, fingers crossed, it's another one of these kind of little gems that we find and uh, it'll be good. It is like a school holiday time at the moment here. So it's probably going to be really rammed, but you know, let's just go and check it out and have some fun. Let's jump on the bike and ride. So, I'm on my way. So I've managed to uh, get my son out of bed um, and get him into the bath and get him clean so he can come on the back. You know, it's like the 13 year old, uh, 13 year old son. They like to uh, lie in as long as possible and avoid uh, getting washed. So um, we've done that. I've, uh, I've uh, filled the bike up because obviously last time I took it out, I was like on dreads of fuel. And um, basically, I've also managed to sort out um, putting the route into the Tom Tom. And basically, what I've, I've used their like uh, plan a thrill ride because the ride's about 17 miles from where I live, and it's all like dual carriageway again and boring roads. So I've literally stuck in plan a thrill. Now I've used this quite a few times, and and I'd say 90% of the time it's been incredible. And it's like it took me through villages I didn't even know existed that are like wow. Um, and then 10 percent of the time it's been like into a town and things like that and you go i don't want to go through this and it's trafficy but you know 90 percent is pretty good um, especially as it's obviously just getting it off of you know off of routes but i'll put it on twisty um, and we'll see how it, how it sort of takes us from here um hang on let's get around here we um so I'm, I'm i'm really looking forward to a good sausage roll because it's been a while now and you know sausage roll is key isn't it key 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 have a nice good sausage roll um, so we are going to be on the road approximately for I think because it's on a twisty route it said about 50 minutes to do a I believe we're about 22 23 mile journey but um, you know we'll see if it's good that's all you can do it isn't it and that's what it's about um, I've got my drone on me as well um, now like I said it's in the school holiday so this place is probably going to be really busy um, and obviously I uh, don't want to be annoying people because I'm very, I try to be as courteous as I possibly can when I'm doing things like the drone and stuff like that. I try and get out of everyone's way. Um, I'm the same when I do a lot of my recording work as well because people are paying to be there and um, you know they've got their family days out and they don't want people walking around filming them. So I do my best, as you always do. Um, but yeah, we're on the road, um, so let's get going. Woohoo! So, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm using my Senna comms. Now, my son's helmet's got like a universal comms that I used to use. Now, the downside to Senna is, is the universal comms, it just buzzes away and he sounds like, a, like a extorted and um, so does, um, do you mean? And I'm taking it, do I sound quite bad, Harvey, or not? I am. Can you hear me nice and clear or do I sound really loud or really quiet? You can hear me quite loud and clear, yeah? yeah? There's no kind of buzzy noise or anything? No. Okay, well from my side, I can get like a buzzy noise. And I can even hear the bike exhaust coming through. I don't know if you can pick this up um, as you're watching, but like there. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, and, as you, and if you can hear Harvey as well, through my ears, he sounds really uh, um, extorted. Sometimes hard to understand as well. Don't get me wrong, it's universal. So it's, it's good that that's a, a big brand has done that. I think their patch update could do well. Now again, the same with the um, the Tom Tom. The Tom Tom comes across as really loud when it's connected to the headset. And a guy said to me, "Oh no! All you need to do is you need to go into your Tom Tom and press those three little buttons, and you can then adjust it." Well, when my center connects to my Tom Tom, and I press those three buttons, my volume control's gone, um, and the only volume control I can use is off of the headset itself. But again, because it comes through so loud and distorted, yes, I can turn it down but then I can still hardly understand it, so I have to have it reasonably loud to hear it. Um, so, you know, they need a frame wire. I think that's all it is, is a frame wire update. Now, it is up to date. I even checked it this morning, so it's not like I've got the original version of the frame wire, but they need to sort that out, really, because, um, you know, it is annoying for a 300 and what? What was it, 350 quid or so device? You'd expect a little bit more. 
But there you go. So Harvey, what are you looking forward to when we get there? Uh, sausage roll. Sausage roll. Uh, what are you going to have to drink? Harvey. Hot chocolate. Okay, I can hardly hear you, buddy, on the back with the noise, unfortunately. So he's looking forward to a hot chocolate and a sausage roll. Awesome. Um, the road so far is still staying quite countrified. Um, oh, hang up, we've come to a big main road here, so we'll see where that takes us. Oh, no, I know where this is going to take us. Oh, no, it's going to take us over and across. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, look, a little bit of an adventure. Hey, up, there's an Audi there. I didn't know there was an Audi there. Well, that's Andy. Oh, taking me down here, Great Oakley. And then, right down here. Now this is where I think it takes me basically into the villages near the outside of Corby. I'm well impressed there's an Audi. I know that sounds daft, I like an Audi. That's where I do most of my shopping. I like to save my pennies. So that's a bonus. Hey, well done, Tom Tom. So, it literally took us into that beginning of the village and straight back out onto a road I've never seen before. And it basically takes down, it was almost single track not very far and then up and over the dual carriageway was quite nice and it's taken us through this sort of back road i don't i know we're near um, a place called corby um, and stuff like that but we're obviously heading back out from there but that's pretty good um the one thing it does because i've put it obviously on twisty road route it seems to take you through a lot of nice bends like this is nice but it, there's a lot of junctions is all I can say so like, I'm coming up to another junction I've done a mile or so down here and it's never left and it'll be another mile or so and another right something like that but at the same time I mean that's I, I love this plan of thrill, thrill route because things like places that aren't hugely far away that you know you can go and visit like this uh, Stanwick Lakes I mean you know I mean hopefully it's going to be good but it's one of the kind of places I probably wouldn't have visited um on my bike on a normal thing but I'm looking for places well you know to obviously do these travel blogs and things um, and looking at places again like at the moment I've done a load of day shifts and I'm literally going straight from days pretty much to nights um, so I'm, I've got literally today and then I'm at work um, all night tonight so um, this is kind of like my only opportunity to get out um, so that's why it's more local based than it is massive distances um, but yeah the route's doing really really well I mean I've never done I've Look, I haven't really got a clue where I am, <laughs> but hey, how many times have I relied on this Tom Tom so far and how many times has it got me where I want to be? I mean, the Welsh trip's a great example. It got me around there, didn't it? And um, yeah, it had a few blips, but generally it did really, really well. So, cracking. Cracking device, I'd say, cracking. So, we made it to Stanwick Lakes. Um, we've just literally arrived. We're both really starving and uh, we're not having any breakfast, so uh, we're going to get some food. But as you can see, everywhere it is absolutely rammed with people, as expected, um, on a sort of school holiday time. Um, but we're going to go get some food and then we'll uh, go for a little bit of a walk around. So, yeah, let's check this place out. So, we've. Um, I've been in the queue for that long that I. Because uh, I was going out the door, the queue was so big that I've basically I've shrunk down like two jean sizes so they've done well there but um the sausage rolls look quite nice look nice and squidgy look that looks really well cooked to me and um, the coffees and the hot chocolate look, look pretty good i also bought a little cake so we're going to enjoy eating them now and then um, we'll hopefully take a walk around it's not the best weather today but it's still pretty good anyway um let's enjoy our sausage rolls we've got brown sauce you've got to have some brown sauce that's, that is the rules. Not as good as Wistow Maze. Wistow Maze is your favourite. Wistow Maze is your favourite. Wistow Maze. Let's go for two.
uh, we finished our sausage roll, our cake. We don't quite know what the cake was, but we both enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. Um, the latte was good. Everything's good. The cafe's really nice here, actually. It's obviously modern. Um, we're trying to avoid the main bit because it's just rammed with people, but there's like an outdoor water park thing for kids and park and stuff like that. So we're going to go for a walk, um, basically, if you can sort of see behind me now. We're going to go for a walk down here and just chill out for a bit. Um, but yeah, let, let me give you a little bit of a view. So yeah, it's quite, um, you know, it's, it's quite relaxed. So like I said, this is like the part where nobody seems to be. So we're going to take a little bit of a walk. If I can send the drone up, because um, it is, like I say, actually generally quite busy. But if I can send the drone up, I'll send the drone up so you can have more of an aerial view. Good news on the drone, though. My uh, Tello, that you've probably been seeing, I've had to edit a lot because it glitches a lot. It has a lot of problems. I've ordered a new drone, um, and I'm waiting for it to arrive. It's coming from China. Um, but I've seen a lot of drone reviews on YouTube, and people are saying this is going to be like the best seller for 2019. Um, and I'm excited because it's got GPS, follow me. Um, it's got a lot of sort of features that actually will work compared to like the Tello that kind of is called drone me and it sort of goes backwards it's not GPS my drone does about 30 meters and it tells me it's out of signal this is apparently does like 800 meters and um, so we're gonna have some exciting times the drone I'm gonna get is called the beast and um, so let's hope it is a beast and let's hope it does what it's supposed to do but it looks quick on all the uh, YouTube stuff that I've seen but yeah let's just take a walk let's chill out for a bit she got vibrations of faith We're sharing a fixation and living for the day. She's giving like the wind. Wandering and dreaming like friends. She's mine like a peaceful elation. Like the only one in creation There's a right time to imagine a sin It's the moment When everything begins And she's good to me Like sunlight right there before dying Dreamers in the sky Hunger and honesty withstood Sensing hearts in heaven Like the only one in creation There's a right time to imagine a sin It's the moment So, I believe if that came out without the drone doing its usual kind of like I don't know, crazy thing that it does where it like chops the video all up. I had an actual really awesome drone flight then. Managed to do a little run along with, with my son running along. Flew about a quarter of the way out the lake before the signal got too weak. Flew around a bit and stuck on sports mode. And it, you know, it, it, it's a good toy sort of fun drone. Um, so I enjoyed that. Anyway, we've come across this amazing, amazing statue in the middle of this place. You ready for it? It's a frog. Um, anyway, we're going to keep on walking. Um, and enjoying this, well, I say it's a beautiful day, it's like a spitty rainy day, but it's just nice for peacefulness. Uh, we're going to hit the main drag in a minute, and um, I don't think you'll be able to see, but... There is a lot of people on it, um, this is like the quietest bit, I think, of the entire place, but we've sort of come out of the way a little bit to do, but... Um, 
we will we'll take a little turn and head back to the main bit because obviously we're in all our bike gear and I don't want to be stuck with all the people you get stuck with <laughs> um, but these places where it's like it's just noise isn't it and I just want to chill out before I have to go and do a 12 hour night shift um, so yeah we're, we're, we're going to keep walking and maybe stop and grab another drink but this is lovely so Stan, uh, Stanwick Lakes kind of gets a big plus at the minute from me and a nice place again I'd probably come back and visit but let's keep checking it out so we're I don't know halfway around this small lake at the minute I kind of having to like lug all my bike gear around and carry everything is like pain up the bum. Now I've got my back box so I can put one helmet in, which should take two, but in reality it takes one. Um, that's kind of like handy, but I've got my wet weather gear in there at the minute that I need to take out so I can put any in. I'm having to literally lug this stuff around. Now the one thing I'll say is there should be an invention. You can put your bag in with a clip on, your helmet in, a decent bag. It clips onto a rucksack so you can take your stuff in your rucksack and just clip your helmet on be awesome wouldn't it not having to lug your helmet around and probably is an invention out there that already does it but um i'm just thinking that's something that would be really handy but yeah let's keep let's keep on going so we're almost done now um it's been a lovely lovely day it's been a lovely lovely walk to be honest it's been a lovely lovely place so it's got a lot of lovely lovelies in there um so we're just chilling on a bench now and just uh, enjoying the view um so we thought we'd share it with you and uh See what you guys think. I mean, again, it's just pretty, isn't it? Always pretty. Find the pretty places. That's my moral. But yeah, let's have a look. So Stanick Lakes, just a summary of the place, really. It's got a really nice calf, modern, good facilities. There's loads of stuff here for kids to do and families. It's a very busy place, but it is pretty and it's well maintained as well. Um, and if you kind of do what we did and hide around sort of the outside of the tracks and things, it kind of is nice and quiet and peaceful. Um, it definitely gets a thumbs up. It's definitely worth visiting. I'd like to thank you for watching this again. And if you can do me a favour and give me a thumbs up, subscribe, etc, etc, you know the drill. It would be fantastic. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.